guess I didn't make bail Got time and a story to tell Started when I was nine years old Woke up and daddy was gone I started hustling and they couldn't tell me nothing Running in the hood trying to be somebody My soul was on empty I was searching for something Tried to be good Tried to keep from trouble Living too fast Trying to make good on a hustle Sometimes it get rough Sometimes it get rough Sometimes it get rough Sometimes it get rough but yup, of course you lie, sit there and organize, try to be more than just hoes Um, thinking you sort of tight, cause someone wrote you lines, thinking you whores have got flow <laughs> No, you can record the lies, give me What's going on, lockout man, here at the Tri-C training facility This is where it all started for me Four or five years ago Started right here. Well, not exactly. It didn't start like right here. It started down the street and they came over here. Now, I'm sorry for the way I'm talking. I just got finished getting my work done on my grill. So y'all gotta excuse me. I'm still a little numb on this side. But I'm about to go up in here and uh, see if I know anybody. This place is this place is the bomb though. Look at this. Look at this right here. Transportation Innovation Center. It used to be truck driving academy back in the day, but they had they moved down the street, got them a nice little building. Let's go in here and see if I still remember anybody. Wasn't really looking cause I found me. Five foot three, light brown skin. Coming from the university. Night style, looking kinda lovely. Didn't know she had much game. Down the ride out, even take the train. Even take her to a poker game. Top up to fried chicken and sushi. Trying to be good. Big improvement. Where we came from to where they at right now? That's crazy. I mean, it looks beautiful in there. This, well, not this particular place right here, but this brings back some super duper, duper, duper memories, man. I mean, I remember, I remember my first, my first time in the class, getting through class, first time getting on the skills pad, first time getting behind the truck, Oh man, this this brings back so many memories. If you guys ever, you know, went to train uh, with a schooling, with a truck driving school, definitely get a chance to go back and and see where you came from to see where you at right now. I mean, all of this right here was like was like jumbo jumbo mish mush. I I ain't know nothing at the time i got out here didn't know how to parallel park didn't know how to back up didn't know how to alley dock didn't know nothing until after i got into it and and got my and got my cd and got my cdl everything now is i'll come here now like huh i can i could just i could get up in there with my eyes closed now this it's crazy, you know, how all these new drivers, these are the future right here. And I don't understand why they keep saying that there's a driver shortage where you got students that's coming into truck driving school every day, every week, every month. You got new jacks that's coming out here all the time. So, this one right here, this one right here must be the parallel parking right here. Well, not parallel parking, I'm sorry. The cross, well, we call it the crossover. You drive up, then you straight line back to this end line right here. Then you drive up, cross over, and then straight line back into that line right there. So, it's, 
it's a good thing. It is a good thing. Now, this driver, this student right here, I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, but he's probably learning how to parallel back. That one right there is straight line back, right there, if you can see. And then this driver over here, looks like he's uh, practicing his backing as well. So, so yeah, it's always great to come back to uh, where you came from. And you know, and probably let some students see that, you know. It's a good thing to come back and just you know just get a feel for where you like i said before it's, it's a good thing just to come back and get a feel of where you came from that's all it's it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing i mean this this brings this brings back a lot a lot of memories how you doing hi uh what's the adp no, nah, truck driving. No, no, no. I paid. No, I paid for my school in out of pocket. <laughs> yeah, uh, big improvement from down the street, huh? Wow. Is any other trainer still here? Dale, where is he? Is he here or he's? Okay, what about? Okay, Dale's the black guy, right? Yeah. Okay, what about the one? What about the short white guy that works for UPS? Doug. Okay. And then the other guy. I know the other guy quit. Midway when we was when we was still in class, uh, I forgot his name, but uh, we was like midway in class, and then the the uh, the uh, well, I want to call him the principal at the time. He came and took over, and uh, and we finished up with him. Speaking of which, is he still here? So y'all don't, we don't have to go over to Apex on the west side no more. Oh, okay, because yeah, we had to go to Apex on the west side to test out. So y'all could do your own test out here? Oh. All right, so what's his name? Ian. And you say he's outside? Oh, he's out testing. Oh, okay, okay. Try to keep from trouble. Let me too fast. I try trying to make good on the hustle. Sometimes it get rough. Sometimes it get rough. Sometimes it get rough. Sometimes it get rough. Wasn't really looking, guess I found it. Five foot three, light brown skin, coming from the university. Night style, looking kind of lovely. Didn't know she had much game. Down the ride out, even take the train, even take her to a poker game. Top notch, fried chicken and sushi. Trying to be good, trying to treat you like a lady. Trying to be your friend. That you were shady Sometimes you get lonely Gotta walk
How's it going? Uh, actually, I just got with him early this year. I was two years with uh, U.S. Express when I graduated. Yep. Two years with uh, J and R. Schlugel, and now I'm with. Uh, I wish I had some. Uh, I wish I knew I was coming up this way. I would have brought some cars with me for the students. All right. So how's it been going? Yeah, what's going? Uh, man, this is incredible right here. This is. Wow. I mean, this. I mean, you know, we was when we was down the street. It was, yeah, but totally we're, different. Totally different here. Beautiful. I mean, this is a beautiful site. Beautiful uh, skills you know, pad. We 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 reconcreted all the skills pad for this area. And then all the lights. So it's, um, at night time, it's just like daytime. I know we didn't have that down no. there when we was uh, when no. we was training at night. So wow. But that's our land where the trees is as well. <laughs> Man, this this is this is freaking awesome. Do you still do we still do the uh, do we still do the bus the uh, passenger? The, the the state stopped us using it as a school bus because we don't carry passengers. What? They stopped us. They stopped all schools that didn't carry passengers from using a school bus. So how how do we get our city uh, uh, passengers in? There's only one place in the state that rents them, and that's Pike County Joint Vocational School in Piketon. Get out! We gotta go over there. Yep, that's the only place that tests with school buses. Unless because, you go to a school district, because they got they got because, people. Yes, they they want us to because actually. It's a vocational drive. center, okay. so they carry students. So they want us to actually drive people in the bus. No, oh, no. But they, whoever runs the bus has to carry passengers. Right. I don't carry passengers. Exactly. So they wouldn't let. So they, every 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 school that had a school bus. Oh my God. Was had the. And I knew someone told me I was like I was like hold on, but you told me it was like what a th it was like what fifteen hundred, yeah. yeah. And I I was thinking about it seriously coming back to to, to get the endorsement. Yeah, but, but that's that's what um, you know now we we're going to start and do warehouse and logistics programs as well. Oh okay okay. We built a simulated warehouse. Oh okay, so you're going to have them to back up into the dock and. Yeah, we've all, all that the good stuff and everything else. Cause y'all do we y'all do a uh, forklift here too, yep. right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Man, Ian, this is you. Ten o'clock. Yeah. We got a little bit of time yet. Man, Ian, this is this is awesome. So, uh, if you want to look at it, just to refresh yourself, uh, come. You gotta, gotta come back in about ten to another ten minutes or so. Okay. All right. All right, man. Ian, this is this is freaking awesome. Yeah. I mean, this is. Yeah, this is all my place. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. So you know. And wow. Then next year we're doing a diesel technician program. Man, y'all, man, we doing it big, man. I gotta, I, I gotta come back and uh, get my skills up, man. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm already good. You know, it's it's good to come back just to, just to see where you came from because, like I said, I, I, I was afraid. I, I, I was afraid of all of that. The, the alley docking, the parallel parking, the, now, the crossover. Have, you know, ten, ten semis and tracks and trailers, a box truck. Yeah, we only had when we was down here. Four. We had like four. Six at the most. Yeah, one of them was automatic. <coughs> yeah, still is. Oh, okay. But, you know, but we have three Cascadias. Man, Ian, this is this is awesome, man. I, my hats off to you, sir. My hats off to you, man. It's, like I said, it's a great it's a great thing to come back just to see where I came from because, like I said, I I, I was afraid of all of that. <laughs> but not now. Once you once you do it. Yeah, it's 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 easy. It's like that now. It's just like that. Uh, so, so where are you living now? I'm still here in Cleveland. So you're traveling down. A, uh, so living was DC. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm still in Cleveland. Uh, I uh, I got with them. I do regional with them now, so I'm home every weekend. Uh, wonder why I'm off today because I have, I have my mouth worked on. I had to go to the dentist. Other than that, I will be out on the road. <laughs> All right. So but, you know, 
It's good, good to see you. Glad is it here. still? Is it? Is is the price still the same? It's gone up two hundred dollars. Damn it, man! <laughs> two hundred dollars because it hadn't gone up for eight years. Before okay. That. Okay. So it's fifty six ninety five. Yeah, I Today. think I paid fifty four. Yeah, so yeah. it's gone up two hundred bucks. Okay. Which ain't a great deal in the grand scheme of things. But next year the entry entry level driver training rules are changing. Oh, okay. Everybody has to go through a school. Everybody had to go. Everybody. Now, what about what, what's your thoughts on uh, what's your thoughts on on truck driving companies doing this? Uh, but they've got to be a registered school. Oh, okay, so no more, oh, no more going through the truck driving company to get your CDLs they can't no more. Train you. And this is starting when? Next year. Next year? February oh. next year. Oh, okay. Well, we, we see a whole lot of truck driving companies. Swift. Uh, <coughs> <yeah>. Swift. <coughs> yeah. they, they have their own school. But yeah. you see, they're going to have to fall in line with the feds. Because it's a federal thing, not a state. Okay. So the whole country's got to do the same. And you won't be able to take a driving test unless you got a certificate of completion from a school. Wow. I guess we are grandfathered in then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now, after then, if you want a passenger or a school bus or a hazmat, you got to go through a school. Oh, okay. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to start to go get my hazmat next year. I got my tankers this year. Uh, next year, I'm going to get my hazmat. Yeah. I was thinking doubles and triples, but... Doubles and triples is just a, a written test, that's all. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. But the hazmat, yeah, you got to go, it, you got to yeah. jump through hoops with the hazmat. You got to have a background check. There you go. And you take care. It was awesome seeing you again. Be Let safe. me get out the way so you can go in and get back doing the damn thing. Okay. And I'll see you on the rebound. Well, you guys heard all of that? You heard all of that? There's some changes coming. Lots and lots of changes coming for you guys, y'all. <laughs> y'all won't be able to uh y'all won't be able to get y'all y'all CDLs like y'all used to, but there's lots and lots of changes. So much that I can't even go over because you I, I'm sure you guys heard it. But um but yeah, they they can't even do we can't even do our passengers endorsements at the schools now because like he said, you said, he don't carry passengers, so he wasn't able to uh, do passenger uh, endorsement now. Now I gotta go, in order to get my passengers endorsement, uh, I will have to go all the way over to, uh, to another city in the state to get it. But it is cool to always come back to where you came from, man, to see where you at right now. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, I was scared. I ain't know what to expect when I got into uh, got into it. You know, I I knew they had automatic trucks, and I was like, well, look, if I can't drive the manual, I'm just gonna go ahead and drive the automatic. But Dale, the uh, the uh, instructor here very good instructor if you guys if you guys stay in this area if you stay in the cleveland area or any other any other surrounding areas and y'all thinking about coming into truck driving man look try c transportation center down here on euclid off of uh off of euclid in euclid man come over here and uh get with them the tuition is 5800 now um there's a lot of ways to uh, to you know get grants, loans, whatever you need to do in order to do it, do it. You know what I'm saying? This is a good school, stated of stated state of the art facility, seven six or seven trucks, skills pad, the the, the instructors, all of them, good to go. And Ian is a good guy he's the head man over here so come check it out man come check it out and for you guys that that was that was that's already in the in the industry and y'all want to go back go back to where y'all came from go 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 back to the school go you know let the students know that you know that you're that you made it and 
that you made it through. Drive your truck. Drive the company truck up there. Let them see that what they doing is is not a is not a lost cause. You know what I'm saying? Let them know that you know there's companies out here looking for them. All right, guys. If you like videos like this and more, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share the video, and get me some coffee, man. Come on. Give me some coffee. Anyway, sorry for the way I'm talking right now because, like I said, I had some grill work done. I had uh, had some fillings, and the Nova Cane is actually wearing off right now. But, like I said again, sorry for the way I'm talking. But anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. Really do appreciate it. I'll come back at you with another video. Peace. Sometimes it get rough. Sometimes it get rough. Sometimes it get rough. Wasn't really looking, guess I found it. Five foot three, light brown skin, coming from the 